Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wildfire here with an interesting UU battle for you today, featuring some hail offense versus my opponent's hail stall team. As soon as I entered this battle, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna get real messy. Hail offense versus hail stall. Hail stall should have this easy, right? Well, that's what you'd think. Anyway, looking at the teams, he has some crazy stuff going on. Probably T spikes on the uh, quillfish. I mean, because he has hail stall. He's got the rapid spinner. He's got the spin blocker and sableye, one of the most annoying spin blockers. And of course, he's got stallrene. On my side, I've got um, E Belt, Obama Snow, Calm Mind, Blizzard, Scald, and Slack Off Rocky Helmet. Uh, Slowbro is a very interesting set, but it combines like four different roles on a team into one, which I really like. Uh, I got Offensive Spinner, Cryogonal, um, Offensive U Turn, Momentum Keeper, Stealth Rock, and Gligar, um, Offensive Life Orb, Sigilyph, and Specs Glaceon. So, as you can see, very offensive team. Uh, leads on his end, I kind of just figured he would lead with Obama Snow, and therefore I led with my Obama Snow because it has Hidden Power Fire, Expert Pills Hidden Power Fire, which I assumed would kill. So uh, let's just get right into this battle. Uh, like I said, I lead off with Obama Snow, as he leads off with a Quillfish, in fact. And uh, on the first turn, he's going to set up a Toxic Spike as I just go for Giggy Drain. That's well over half, and uh, with the Hail, obviously, it's not good. Leftovers is not a thing in this battle, basically. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to go for another Giggy Drain, obviously, to try to finish it off, because. I am E-Belt, so it really doesn't matter what I go for. I don't need to predict anything, really. You just kind of go for your move. Uh, hidden Power Fire, he notices his Hidden Power Fire, so I'm going to go for it again. And here, I don't know what he was... I didn't know if he wanted to go into Walreen right away, or uh, predicting my Blizzard. So I went for the Giga Drain, and uh, he actually does just happen to stay in. So um, obviously, he's going to recover up now that I'm burned. So I'm just going to hit him up with a quick Blizzard, and that's going to bring him all the way down to 10. And obviously, like I said, because Leftovers being cancelled out by the hail, he's going to stay at 10. So he's obviously going to withdraw and be like, oh, I'm not taking any of that. And I was actually going to Ice Shard, because I knew Ice Shard at that point would kill it before it could recover up. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be so crafty, I can get it done. And he switches out, and I'm like, darn. So Sableye's still alive. Luckily, it dies to rocks if I can get them up. And um, I don't know why he double protected on here. He could have killed me with a Blizzard, could have done all sorts of things. But he went for the double protect, and uh, as I just U turn back out into a bomb of snow, and I die. So the only real way I can offensively kill this Walreen just died. Uh, I'm going to go into Sigilyph, which is my second best thing to offensively kill this, as he switches in Glaceon, takes Stealth Rock damage, takes an Air Slash, and because I'm offensive, I have a ton of speed. So even if he was running max speed on that Glaceon, he just died. In comes Walreen again, and the Protect here is very obvious, but I mean, what else am I going to go for? I have Roost, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and uh, Psychic. So I can't set a Calm Mind on this thing, would have been beautiful. Anyway, he goes for a Toxic, trying to Toxic me, I guess, just... I really have no idea why he went for the Toxic, he knows I have a Magic Guard. I'm going to continue Psychicking away. Uh, at this point, my one of, a thought came through my head, I'm like, I might actually have to PP stall out Walreen out of Protect and Substitute, because I have the team to do it, it's just a matter of, I'm actually going to have to do it. And anyway, here I was hoping to get a flinch so that the Claydol couldn't Rapid Spin away my Stealth Rock. Unfortunately, I just straight up missed the Air Slash, so, yay. Anyway, that's going to allow him to Rapid Spin and set up his own Stealth Rock. And then I'm going to just kill him off with a more. It went for the Air Slash in case he wanted to switch into Sableye. Now that the rocks were gone. He goes into the wall ring. I go for an Air Slash as he protects. Blah, 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 blah. Like, he, like, there's spamming Protect on Stall Ring. And then there's doing this. And he was really stalling Protect on Stall Ring. Uh, he's going to kill me off with a Blizzard. Something he could have done a ton of time ago. I thought I could live one, but apparently not. Here, I go for the Knock Off first. Just in case he wanted to bring in the Sableye. Because after Knock Off and Hail, it would have died to Hail. But, uh... Unfortunately, he just stays in, so I'm like, okay, if you're just going to stay in, I'll just sit here and rapid spin, and there go all your stuff, and now you're in a huge pickle. Um, the one thing I've noticed is because he's spamming uh, nothing but toxic and protect, and uh, he hasn't shown substitute yet, but it's really obvious that he has it. Slowbro has Regenerator, Cryogonal has Recover, and is immune to Hail. So, as you can see, on an average turn, lefties, then toxic, um... Here I was predicting the Sableye again, just in case he wanted to go into it. But what I realized here is, between, uh, or, sorry, go for the knockoff again. Knock off the Sableye's leftovers. Unfortunately, he lives at one, which is, like I said, unfortunate, but I'm just going to be able to kill him out with a blizzard at this point. Uh, does he go back out into the Walreen at this point? Do I remember this battle that I had two minutes ago that well? Okay. It's at this point where I'm thinking, okay, obviously recover on the Protect. And if you take a look at the Pokemon, Cryogon on average turn, Comes in, loses 6 to Toxic, gains it back with Leftovers, and you're done. And Slowbro obviously has a Regenerator. So, you know the best way to win a PP stall? 
switch between two Pokemon that don't lose any HP on any turn, and if he decides to go for a Blizzard, could just recover off the damage right away, either through an ability or through a move. So I could literally sit here forever. It takes no PP to switch. So I could literally sit here infinitely and just switch between Cryogonal and Slowbro and do this forever. And I feel like he knows this, so it's on one of these turns where I switch into Cryogonal. Um, right here I'm thinking, okay, I could switch into Gligar right now, which I do No, okay. What I wanted to do is I wanted to switch into Gligar because um, his Abomasome is at 19%, and I'd be able to kill it off with the Stealth Rock, and I'm like, ooh, that'd be perfect, he wouldn't be able to do anything, and uh, he's if I went into Gligar, like I do right here, he would Toxic, wouldn't affect me, he'd probably kill me off as a with a Blizzard when I go for my Stealth Rock, and uh, that would be that, Abomasome wouldn't be around anymore. Unfortunately, he doubles on the same freaking turn I go with the Gligar, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Okay, that's really upsetting. Uh, I'm in with Glaceon, I decided to go for a Shadow Ball anyway, because it's going to hit everything on his team really hard. And unfortunately, he goes into Wall Rain, and it did not hit hard enough, so <laughs> I got to switch right out. Again, I'm going to try this, I'm going to go into Gligar, and I'm like, I'm getting those Stealth Roofs up. And unfortunately, he doubles right back into Abomasnow again. Uh, this time, I do crit his Abomasnow with the U-turn, and um, three turns earlier, it did 29%, and this time it does 25 So the crit did not matter. And at this point, he realizes he can do nothing because Quillfish is literally taken out by everything remaining on my team. Um, and Walreen, he's obviously seen so far, can't do anything to my team. And instead of making you sit here and making me sit through that, which would have been like a solid hundred turns of just switching back and forth and back and forth, he decides to forfeit. So it was an interesting game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, hill stall versus hill offense can get really, really messy in this fight. I was kind of intrigued at the start of this match. I'm like, dude, this could turn out really interesting. And I feel like it turned out somewhat interesting. I mean, like, the best way to win a PP stall is to just switch. There takes no PP. You can do it forever. Um, but that's really all I have to say to you here today. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.